Hello, I'm Ferd, and in this week's video, we're going to talk about antennas and the different types of antennas that Stellaratus offers, uh, how they work, their radiation patterns, and how to install them correctly. So I have some of our antennas here in front of me, from Omni antennas here to more directional antennas here. This is a panel antenna to a Yagi antenna here, which is even more directional. And we'll also discuss our new laser antenna, which is a super high gain narrow beam antenna. Now the way antennas work is that every antenna is compared to what's called an isotropic antenna or an isotropic radiator. And that's a theoretical perfect sphere shape or sphere, really sphere like radiation pattern around an antenna. So this antenna doesn't exist in reality. All antennas are distorted from that perfect shape. By changing the elements within an antenna, we can distort that perfect isotropic shape into a more desirable shape. One would be, for example, we would want to bulge out the radiation pattern in one direction. So here we have a map of a city with base stations sprinkled around the city. Now our building is the square in the center and we have an omnidirectional antenna on that building. And that omnidirectional antenna is picking up Base, all the base stations in that area. There's about maybe 12 base stations. Now, your phone only connects to one base station and all those other base stations are considered noise and they actually degrade the base station that you're actually listening to. So we don't want to pick the signal up of all those base stations. We really only want to pick up the signal from one base station. So an omnidirectional antenna in this circumstance is not what we want. So the Aggie antenna screens out the base stations from the side and at the back a little bit and focus more of the energy out in one direction. And you can see I'm trying to reach the macro base station up in the top left there with the three with the three towers on it. And I only want that macro base station. I don't want any of these other uh, base stations around me. So the Yagi antenna does a reasonably good job at that, but it's not uh, it's not as good as it could be. Instead, what we choose is a laser antenna. So you can see from this graphic, the laser antenna does a very good job at screening out all those unwanted base stations and selecting out the macro base station that we do want. And for city installations, the laser antenna is preferable. So that uh, brings us to the end of this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.